This isn't going to work well. <laughs> it's fun. Hello, I am Cindy Brown and this is Supposedly Chic. In this week's episode, we will be unboxing our third unboxing for Fashion. Fashion is a new, new test, uh, I think newer around the block, clothing subscription service. This is our third go around with Fashion. The first two were great. Uh, third one, guys, I like the colors and some of the styles, so kind of excited about what we got this month from Fashion. Fashion reached out to us about, gosh, I don't know, six months ago and asked us to try out their subscriptions. It took us a little while, but we started two months ago. This is our, so I guess we got January, February. This is our March box for Fashion. They come here to Supposedly Chic every four weeks. Guys, Fashion is just one of many clothing subscriptions that we do here. Uh, guys, if you like what you see so far, please consider subscribing. Fashion sent us a bunch of really great patterns and styles. This month we received two tanks, two pairs of pants, and a dress. We are currently in March, so we're transitioning from winter to spring. Uh, that means that even though the sun is out, it might be a little cooler than you would expect. So layering is kind of an important deal for me. I like to go out of the house with sort of an outfit and some sort of jacket, blazer, cardigan. Knowing that as the day progresses, I can sort of shed that cardigan, uh, wear whatever outfit I have uh, for the rain of the day, and then as it starts to get cooler again in the late afternoons, throw that cardigan or that blazer back on and head home. So that's kind of what I look for when, I, when I'm looking for separates is items that can stand on their own as well as be layered and sort of look great either way. So we got a couple cool tanks that I, I'm going to talk a little bit about layering ideas that I have uh, with some of the other items that I have in my wardrobe. We got a pair of jeans, we got a pair of slacks, and then this kind of cute dress. So we are going to really quickly run through all of these pieces. Then I will do a try on of each item on its own. So we will talk about we will talk about and be able to see how it fits, um, how it feels. Do I like it? Is it comfortable? Uh, would I would I wear it? And then at the end of all that, we're going to sit down and do a really quick recap, talk about what everything costs, talk about how fashion's discount schedule works because it is quite unique. And then we will uh, sort of weigh in on what we're keeping in this month's fashion. So getting out of the five pieces that we got, three of them were from a brand called Naked Zebra. The uh, both tanks and the dress are Naked Zebra. So let's talk about those really quick. Let's start with the dress. Uh, this, whoopsie, I dropped my paper. Now I've got my paper. Okay, again, this was Naked Zebra. They called this the long sleeve mini printed dress. $47 for this, guys. What a beautiful pattern. We've talked about my incessant love slash obsession of animal print. This is sort of a combination of like a zebra print, almost like a cheetah print, and then some sort of gold filigree. Let me see if I can get, get closer to the camera so you guys can actually see what that pattern looks like. Long sleeves, sort of this V neckline, and it's very, very silky. The, let's see if it tells us what the uh, mix is here. It is 100% polyester, and let me just look at the washing instructions. It's a hand wash, line dry, so not bad, not a dry clean only item, uh, but it looks like it'll probably hit just a little bit above the knee. It does have a drawstring here at the waist, so we will see what the options are with that drawstring, but again, this is the Naked Zebra mini dress. You know, guys, I was not sure how I was gonna like this dress when I put it on, but so far, I think it has major possibilities. This is by Naked Zebra. Sidebar question, are zebras normally clothed? Because I thought zebras were always naked. This dress is very silky. I love the fit and I love the pattern. Uh, in a second, we're gonna see what we can do with these sleeves because if I'm gonna take it into springtime, we are very definitely gonna need to be able to somehow cup up these sleeves. But let me just show it to you kind of the way it is. Um, here's what the pattern looks like. You can see just how pretty and sort of regal this dress is. Um, I do have a styling question for y'all that I'll ask you in just one second, but let's go ahead and take a look at how it looks. It, it feels maybe just a little bit short for me, but I, I think maybe I can get over that. If I, for me, guys, it always depends on how it looks when I sit down. If I sit down and it looks like I have to be very strategic not to show places that aren't supposed to be shown, then it's not a dress for me. So that's kind of where we're at. But you guys, here's kind of what it looks like on the side. Here's our back view. This side, I like that it has just sort of this natural neckline right here. Uh, again, the flat neck as opposed to an actual collar is always very important for me. Um, let's take a look and see what we can do with the uh, sleeves. All right, so there's one that's cuffed up. That's not a bad look. I'm not really thrilled, unfortunately, with the sort of underside of the pattern. 
Um, but it's not terrible and it does sort of get up here. I could probably even cuff it one more time, maybe make it a little smaller. Yeah, and, and I think because of the silkiness of this dress, it would probably need some kind of like Hollywood tape um, to sort of make it stay. But again, that's kind of now what it looks like. But now guys, we're going to talk about the styling question. There is a tie right here. So you can make it as sort of fitted or not fitted as you want. So do we make it more like a sheath dress and we just make this almost just like a decorative tie, almost like that. So kind of here's where we're going. Or do we cinch it? Do we take this guy and actually t sort of get it a little bit tight there so it creates that kind of cut in on the, on the waist? Flouse it a little bit. Okay, so that's what it looks like with it tied as tight as it can be. I'm, I think I'm, I'm definitely leaning towards keeping this dress. So guys, in the comments for sure, let me know, do you like it a little bit tighter, like scrunched? Is that the word? Um, or did you like it looser and more like a sheath dress? So again, this is the Naked Zebra printed mini dress. Guys, take a look at these slacks that we received. These are by Blue Pepper. They are the Czech print woven pants with belt. Guys, the price of one of these is $37. So before I show you the whole pant, I just want you to kind of look at the pattern. It's kind of like a caramel with a black sort of grid on it. It is elastic waist in the back. It's a straight waist in the front. Then it has these ties right here that you can belt up and, and cinch and tie. The legs are a little wide, but again, that's kind of the style that I'm trying to go for just to sort of pep up my wardrobe a little bit. We received from Trunk Club the black, gosh, I can't remember whose they were now, um, the black, a very similar style to this pant, but just solid black. So these are, are worth a gander. Um, I don't know how they would look with a black tank, but I definitely could pair them with like a black bodysuit, put them together with a black blazer that we got from Trunk Club last month. So here is our, again, checkered woven wide leg pant. Well, I, I, I am speechless at the price point of these pants. It's just absolutely amazing. And I, the only problem though is I'm, I haven't decided, I am normally, I think, kind of a dark on the bottom person. So I don't know if, if I don't know. But $37 is a kind of a great price point. They are elastic in the back. So there's, there's definitely room to pull them up. You know, they, they're pull on, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So they're easy to get on. They've got that tie front. I think they look kind of good with this black top. They've got a little bit of a flare but I think that is kind of a good, they're a good length for sure. I have them on with heels. Um, I'll show you when I get on this little step stool what it looks like. But yeah, you'll have to tell me uh, if it's bold of a print or if we could get away with this because the price point makes it almost a crime to send it back, right? So uh, this is kind of where we're going. It's just a nice sort of straight look. So this is what we got going in the back. There's the side, there's no pockets. They're just kind of a straight pair of slacks. There's our full size to see how they look with the heels. They're very comfortable. They're, they're kind of a lightweight sort of crepe. They are definitely something a little unique for me. They, they've got that kind of plaid look. Ah, uh, guys, tell me what you think. $37 is a great price point for these sort of wide legged tie front pants. Gang, we got another pair of just black. These are white jeans. They are distressed. They are the One Knee Distressed Skinny Pants in Optic White. Highest item in our fashion unboxing is $62. So again, just pretty much guys, a straight white pair of jeans, very plain pockets. There's the distressing that's on the, what, I think it's on the left knee. And other than that guys, they are a pretty sharp looking pair of white skinny jeans. So again, by Just Black, optic white skinny jeans. So our next pair of pants are by Just Black. They actually sized us down this month. So a much better fit than the pair of pants we got in the last two fashions. And this is kind of what I'm talking about with jeans, guys. They are very, very comfortable. There's a lot of like sort of range of, of motion. Range of motion, is that the right term? They land right where I want a pair of pants to land. They, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty good. And they got just enough distressing, not a lot. I almost wish they had no distressing because this would be kind of nice to wear with like a tunic uh, for some kind of work event with shoes like this. But for going out, not a bad deal. So not a whole lot to talk about white jeans except to tell you that the Just Black are a great fit. They're very comfortable, they're very soft. Of all the jeans that I have in my wardrobe, I have sort of an off-white beige but I do not have white white. And uh, all of the sort of having to size down on jeans and get rid of old jeans and new jeans, I don't have any more distressed ones either. So this kind of gives me two different things I need, a color that's not blue jean and a little bit of sort of edgy distressing. So here's what we got going. Here's our back view. There's our side view. Talk about the length a little bit. See guys, I just think that they're very much working. Uh, so, so far, like in both of the pairs of pants that we got from fashion this month. Uh, let's take, go ahead and take a look at our next item right now. As far as our tops go, guys, again, they were both by Naked Zebra and they both are kind of unique and, and I, I'm, 
excitedly optimistic about the styles and the fits. This is the Overlap Tank Top in Snow Orchid, $34. Guys, that's a price point you would find at Kohl's, Macy's, you name it. Um, it has sort of that high neck in the back, but it does scoop in the front. It is a wrap on the bottom and it is sleeveless and it is that really sort of pretty pale pink that quite honestly I think is sort of like the spring it color, at least, at least in my world it is. So we'll see how that guy looks on. We're gonna probably pair it with just um probably just some jeans but it, it definitely could go with the white jeans i just want to try and do the try ons each individual item so you can take a look at them all separate we received a pink wrap blouse from fashion last month that i just didn't really like the fit this guy is everything that one was and now obviously it's not a top it's a tank um but i love the pink it does have the wrap here in the front it has a nice v right here not a very plungy or, or not an awkward one it's just very nice it, it's longer in the back than it is in the front I know I bitch about that all the time, so I'm gonna try and just let that go. But the only thing I think is that I would need to adjust the bra a little bit. I sort of get one of those ones that, that crisscrosses in the back, so it looks more like that maybe. But yeah, so here's what we got going. I love the spring pale pink vibe, guys. It, it's rocking really well. I've got it just paired with some jeans, so you can kind of see the contrast and just how it sort of with being so muted still brings color to your to your outfit. Okay, so here's what we got going on the side. Here's our back views. You can kind of see you would definitely need to tailor the bra to the top, but I really like this. And again, it's, it's sort of fitted enough to wear. We could throw a blazer or a jacket over it. So I took a quick minute, guys, and I threw it on with the Roche blazer from Eliza J that we got, I think, from Trunk Club. Um, and you can see that it, it is a nice fit to wear under a blazer. My only concern, guys, is this thing right here. If this was the same size, I wonder if we could what if we could tuck that in? What do you think? Would that be a weird look? Let me try that. If we tucked it in and had a blazer over it? Because if you don't take the blazer off, then that's what you got, right? So it's nice and short here. It's tucked in in the back. I think I just got myself a styling idea. Woohoo! So again, so here's what it looks like with a blazer on. So you can just see that there's a lot of different options with this tank. I wonder if we sort of blouse it in the back, if we get away with doing that sort of one tuck thing, put a belt together with this, that might be a thing because I'm really starting to, that longer back is starting to really bug me. So yeah, maybe something like that. Lots of different options with this tank, guys. And again, the price point was what, 34? Yeah, $34. I think that's a really great price from Fashion. And then our very last item, this again is Naked Zebra. They call this a simple multiple strap V-neck top, $33, where the other tank was $34, and there's a whole lot more material to it than this guy. You can see how thin the straps are. It does have this sort of scalloped neckline that uh, that I think is pretty. I think it would sort of add some pop to sort of whatever if you like threw a blazer or a cardigan over it. It's a little bit of detail to add some pop. Uh, it's the same length front and back. It's got this crisscross in the back. So if we were to wear it on its own, we definitely would have to sort of think about our, our uh, undergarment choices, right? So our bra straps aren't hanging out. And our very last item this month's fashion unboxing is also by Naked Zebra and I am on the fence. I almost feel like it's a little too minimalist. Hang on, and these, these things are just bothering the heck out of me. I don't know if I can wear this by itself. It, it, it almost feels, it's, it's sort of not uncomfortable, but a little bit tighter here across the chest. Maybe that would be a thing. I really like the scalloped. I just almost think that perhaps the straps for what I'm looking for might be a little too delicate, but we'll see. Again, it's a tank for $33 and compared to all the other great price points that we got here, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. We could, of course, do the whole tuck in the front, let it go like that, but it's not real long and it's not <laughs> longer than the back than the front, so I think I can kind of leave it like this. It would be okay. So yeah, just a simple tank. So again, not entirely thrilled with the, uh, price point on this guy but the great thing about fashion which we'll talk about in a minute is they have a pretty cool discount uh, schedule as far as the number of pieces that you keep so we may still be able to get a pretty good deal on this unboxing without necessarily having to get this tank if we don't feel it is gonna sort of last in the long run um so here's what it looks like on its own I'm gonna pair it again with that blazer just so we can see how that looks so that's our back view Again, you can see how, you hopefully can see how sort of thin and fragile those little uh, straps are. Here's our side view and again in the front. See, I'm not, I'm not a terribly humongous fan for what's kind of going on here on the sides. I'm not sure. Hang on one second. You will see, however, though, that it goes phenomenal with this blazer. It's it's like this is a pair right here. Um, so for that reason alone, I may keep it. Um, so here's how it looks. I guess you don't really see the side view because all you're gonna see is a blazer. But since it is the same length, there is no 
know there's a tiny little bit of the shirt that shows out the bottom, but not enough to, for me to make a federal case out of it. It does add a little bit of the scalp, I think brings sort of, takes just sort of a straight black top part of the wardrobe and kind of brings a little something to it. So yeah, this ain't a bad outfit for sure. The tank we are going to talk about when we do our wrap up. Uh, and I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that that is all of our triumphs. So hang on one second. We're going to do our recap on all of our items in this month's Fashion Month unboxing. All right, so now it's time to do the recap for our Fashion March unboxing and determine what we like, what we loved, and uh, what we're gonna keep this month. So we got five really cool and unique pieces. There is a discount that fashion gives us that's a little unique. So give me just one second to uh, to sort of share that with you. If you purchase three items or more, you get to take 25% off of those items. Okay. So that's kind of cool because some of our other clothing unboxings is kind of an all or none or it's higher than three pieces. Like I believe Wannable is five or more you get a discount. Stitch Fix, they only send you five pieces and you have to keep all of them to get a discount. So this is kind of cool because you can sort of pick some um, gems and not necessarily have to buy all of them. So let's talk about what our total is if we liked all five of these, which I kind of did. I, I'm sort of on the fence with the plaid pants and the black tank, but I love the dress, I love the jeans, and I love the pink tank. So there's our three pieces. So the only thing is that when you have fashion or wantable and you're going to start calculating discounts, you definitely need a calculator. So got my trusty phone to help us out. But let's talk about if we kept all five and what that looks like, right? So if we kept all five, our subtotal right now for all five pieces is $213. With a 25% discount, it's a $53.25 discount. So it puts it at $159.75. So again, for five pieces, $160, that ain't a bad deal. That's less than $40 a piece. What is that? $30, $30. Two, $32 a piece. But again, $53.25. So what does that do for us? That gives us this dress right here, or this $47, it gives it to us for free. So there is that. So so that's kind of where we're at, $159 if we keep all five. All right, so let's do some really quick math. If we look at the three pieces that we liked, that is the just black white jeans for 62, the long sleeve printed dress for 47, and the pink tank top for 34. So guys, that's a total of $143 for those three pieces. So if we take the 25% discount, that gives us $35.75 off. So for those three pieces, instead of spending $143, we would spend $107.25. If we bought all of them, including the two pieces, the, the pants and the tank, now we're looking at $159.75. So does it make, that's a difference of $52.50. So for another $52.50, we keep all five. So you see how that three pieces or more 25% discount, it, it gets bigger with the more items you purchase, obviously. So uh, is this little outfit right here worth 50 bucks to me? It might, it might, right? We saw how cute this black tank looked under the blazer. So if I, if I did feel sort of a couple of just the little thin straps here on the top, it could, it could just be paired with a blazer pretty easily. And, and I think, uh, I, th I think that God, the price points on these guys makes it to where it's pretty easy. It's, it's 160 bucks for this whole set of five. And that's uh, for me, um, that's a great deal. I, I like how fashion can give you some really great unique pieces but not break the bank doing it. So our third go around with fashion, I think this might be the first time that we're gonna keep all five pieces. And uh, yeah, you know, the, if, guys, if, if you haven't heard of them, I've got two other videos that I'll put a links above to check out. I will also put a link down below to uh, get you into the fashion sort of site. You take a style quiz. You have a, gosh, I wanna say a, a paint or a preview of like seven or eight pieces that you get to pick out the five you wanna see. So uh, it is, there's a little bit of your sort of selection criteria in there. And uh, then they just send them to you guys, they said it. the first two uh, unboxings for them, I believe it's for everybody, is uh, no styling fee. And after that, I think it's a $20 styling fee. Yeah. So Morgan is our stylist. If you guys feel like picking a stylist, she's done pretty uh, pretty good by us so far. And uh, so I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. Gosh, um, you know, gosh, things like our Stitch Fix. I think our last Stitch Fix, guys, was our Stitch Fix number 30. So we've gotten Stitch Fix 10 times as many times as we've gotten the fashion. So we're still learning. Our stylist is still learning. But I, um, gosh, guys, there's some stuff I'm really excited about uh, sort of taking us from winter into spring. And we haven't talked about, with the exception of the blazer that I brought in, uh, how we can integrate this into the wardrobe that uh, we've, we've sort of accumulated with all of our unboxings. So really excited to go into my closet and see what I can put with, I mean, obviously the white jeans, anything will go with those. Again, now obviously talking about the polar opposites. I don't know if we can get away with anything on here besides black. I bet we could get away with 
white. Uh, try a, a white, but I almost think maybe that would be it as far as those. And because of the wide lengths, there there definitely needs to be some thought put into what what goes on top. The top, in my opinion, has to be very slim and very fitting to sort of to sort of accentuate the wideness of the lace. So uh, I, I think I tried on with a black body so you, so you can see what it looked like. But those types of tops, I think, would work the best. Uh, I have no idea if fashion was anything besides clothing pieces because that's all that we've received. But we are definitely going to ask them for whatever they have, guys. If they have jewelry, if they have shoes, if they have purses, I'd love to see it all. So I cannot be happier with our third third times a charm, I guess, right, with fashion. Uh, we had some fit issues on the first ones, but I really think we are dialed in, and fashion may be starting to sort of climb the ranks of my favorite unboxing service thus far. So guys, we do this every single Friday, 9 a.m., you wake up, wipe the sleep out of your eyes, and there will be some type of unboxing on Supposedly Chic 9 a.m. We also have two other additional pieces of content here on the channel. Every Sunday night we do a live. There'll be details down below. And every uh, one Wednesday a month we do some type of home decor in uh, our new house. It's called Chic House. All the details of those shows will be down below, so please check it out. Guys, once again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And if you are new here at Supposedly Chic, just do me one favor. Just hit that subscribe button down below me. And because you're new, I'm going to throw a couple videos up. They're going to be right here. They're going to show you what we're all about. They're going to show you how much fun it is to do unboxings. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me. I am Cindy Brown with Supposedly Chic. And until we meet again, make it a good one.